Hey guys, it's Thursday, it's puck time, it's hockey talk. Dave Koch and the legend himself joining us and Alex B. Smith. Only two games on tap tonight. We'll take them both apart, hand out some promos and uh, talk to Dave about the uh, World Series. What a game last night. Let's bring the guests in. Uh, Dave Koken, how are you, my friend? You, I'm sure you watched that game. Spectacular. Oh, yeah. yeah, and, you know, there's going to be lots of second guessing uh, of A.J. Hinch. Um, that, that comes it's nature of the beast. Um, a lot of people thought he sort of left Zach Greinke in. Uh, I'm in the camp that said, well, if, if they had a set plan with Grinky and thought he might be weakening, which he might have been at that point. Uh, then you go to Garrett Cole right away. They didn't, and they they paid for that decision. Uh, so the, uh, the you know that's it for the Astros. Nationals win, and uh, now we're into the off season. Hot stove is underway. Yeah, well, I mean, with all that said, the Astros need to score more than two runs, and their bats uh, quieted down a lot. Uh, Alex B. Smith, what the hell are you wearing? I, I got on my Zombie Hawks jersey uh, in honor of Halloween. A few years ago, uh, completely unrelated, this jersey got destroyed in a washing machine. And so I ended up having to go into like a zombie party around October and I covered up in fake blood. And so every every year I just kind of throw this thing on whenever I'm doing a show or if I got to go to a party last minute or not. So Alex, if I came on the show in blackface, you'd take it as an insult, yet... I, we have Dave Koken here, missing an eye, and you come on the show with a fake black eye. Okay, yeah, but it's a fake. I'm not. I'm not. I think you're mocking Dave, Alex. I think you're mocking Dave. No, I, I do whatever you want. <laughs> I, I, I stopped giving a shit about Halloween about 50, 60 years ago. My, my Halloween. I was, uh, I was a real good climber when I was a kid. Like trees? I, I, I could climb up. Like huh? trees? Trees? I don't know. What, what did you climb? climb? Climb. Well, what I used to do on Halloween, uh, I was designated as the one who would steal a pumpkin off the uh, front stoop of unsuspecting people in the neighborhood, and I would climb up the d drain pipe and position myself and uh, then they, the kids, uh, the other kids would ring the bell, and when they, uh, the door opened, I would take the pumpkin and smash it. <laughs> it would scare the crap out of people. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was it was awesome until I got caught on somebody's roof, and they were they they were really pissed about it, about it. So. Well, I have no <laughs> Halloween stories for any of you people. I, I just... of course that was when I was like eight years old. I want to. Point that out. Right. I mean, I, that, that, <laughs> that wasn't, wasn't like wasn't, that wasn't like a, like ten years ago. <laughs> no, no, I I have not uh, indulged in Halloween since I was a little kid. I, I I think it's a little kid's holiday, and I don't I don't participate in it. Yeah, well, it doesn't look like it's going to go over very well in Toronto tonight. There's a uh, weather warning effect uh, happening. Uh, it's an utter nightmare out there. Doesn't bother me none. I don't want my doorbell rang all night, and I didn't even get any uh, candy. I'm going out. Uh, boys, let's... Oh, I got I, I get candy every year, and then hope that nobody shows up. Yeah, exactly. Then you right. get... Or buy the candy half price tomorrow. That's get all. Those three, uh, three Musketeers bars galore. All for me. <laughs> Guys, let's get into it. I had a five-unit play last night in hockey. Uh, we made a ton of sales. It won easily. And Dave, I really did appreciate your text uh, telling me it was a great call. We had the over. And well, it was. I mean, if you take it over and the game ends up with 13 goals being scored, yeah. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say that's a pretty good Well, play. unless the over yeah. is 14 goals. Uh, if that happens in the NHL, yeah. uh, let me know. I, I want to bet. Yeah, over. I mean, I have many <laughs> outs where I bet. Uh, but one of my favorite places to bet is Bet365. They give you that cash out. Uh, so you can take a bet and cash it out midway through. Um, but what also I like about them is that as soon as the game goes over, if you bet the over, the ticket cashes. Uh, so I actually had the money in my account midway through the second period. Um, let's get to it, dude. I want to talk, talk about that game for a moment. Go. Since there's only two games. 
Since there's only two games today, let's talk about the two teams that were involved in that game, which were Tampa and New Jersey. The Devils, uh, Himes has been there, what, five years now? Fire the coach, okay? You have to fire the coach. That team is beyond awful. They've had that's their fifth double, uh, fifth multi goal lead that they've blown already this season. So something's not clicking there. The other team, Tampa, we better stop looking at them as a powerhouse. I mean, maybe they're not taking the regular season seriously. I don't know. But if you watch that game last night, their lack of defensive presence in front of the goaltender was alarming. I mean, they were they had showed no aggressiveness whatsoever on defense. You got Devils guys camped on the doorstep getting easy deflections. That team's not right right now. They need a wake-up call. There's a lot of talent on that team, but they're not playing anywhere close to their Well, I think it's time to move on from their coach as well. Well, I don't know. That's kind of tough. I mean, they, they won the President's Trophy last year, and I know they flopped against Columbus, but that'd be kind of quick. He's been there yeah, for a long time, that. though, Dave, uh, with a lot of talent and uh, nothing to show for it. I'll, gr- I'll grant you that. Um, but I think he has a longer leash than the guy in New Jersey. I mean, that that's just... No. That team, they, 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 they don't have the worst talent in the league, but they're, they're literally playing the worst hockey in the yeah, league. Yeah, and it's such a big year for them because Taylor Hall, their superstar... Yeah. Uh, is a free agent at the end of the year, and uh, everything suggests he's not going to sign back at New Jer- in New Jersey. Yeah. He made a, a comment last night, too, about how he's saying, you know, the fans are riding this hard. He says it feels like we're playing one-on-three uh, when we're on the penalty kill or on the power play because the fans are booing us every time uh, we don't take a shot or, or we uh, you know let an odd man rush back. It's like, well, you guys got to play better as a collective whole, you know. Uh, and we talked about the goaltending with Corey Schneider. I mean, he's completely fallen off the, the map in the last couple of years as well. So, yeah, definitely some changes need to be made with New Jersey sooner than later. Uh, boys, let's get to it, uh, Dave. Before that, really quickly, uh, you've got a 5% play up in college football for Saturday, you are 62% in college football. Uh, we're giving out your play for half price. We had a lot of takers yesterday, so congratulations on that. Uh, just head over to wagertalk.com. Use the promo code DAVE20. And now we are going to change the scroll. Drum roll, please. Blah, 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 blah. Scroll is changed. Um... Calgary going into Nashville tonight. Uh, the over and under is six, and Nashville is favored uh, minus 150. And this Calgary team is a real surprise uh, to me. They just can't seem to score. Uh, last night they lost 2-1. Uh, t- two nights ago they lost 2-1 to Carolina. They lost 2-1 to Winnipeg uh, on the outdoor rink. Um, look, they put up six against Florida, but... Uh, They just keep playing to the under. And Nashville, conversely, a team that can't stop scoring, although their over streak is done. Uh, They're three games to the under. A beautiful win against Chicago, 3-2 against Tampa Bay, and 4-0 against Minnesota. Uh, With all that said, Alex, I'll go to you first. I like the over in this hockey game. I think we are going to see some um, points on the board, and I still believe that Calgary is going to play to the over uh, most of the year. Yeah, and even with Nashville, you look at that last game against the Hawks, uh, they got 51 shots on Robin Lehner. Lehner stood on his head. That could have easily been an 8 nothing or 9 nothing game. Uh, you know, seriously, the, the way the defense played for the Hawks was absolutely brutal. Uh, so you take that into consideration. Even the last game uh, with Nashville playing at Tampa Bay, it was a 3-2 final. That went under, but they got 40 shots on that. So Nashville's going to get quality chances. Uh, like I said, this is a Calgary team that uh, has been a bit streaky, but I would lean with the over, and I would lean with Nashville. Uh, Dave, line. what do you like in this game? Well, I'm not going to go against Nashville, I can tell you that. Um, right now, Nashville's the best team in the league. I'm not saying they're going to be the best team in the league at the end of the season, but right now they are. There's nobody playing better at both ends of the ice than the Predators. The, the goaltending has been outstanding. Pekka Rinne, uh, he's 35 going on 25. I mean, he has been absolutely tremendous for them. And Saros, when he plays, there's nothing wrong with him either. Uh, they're just crisp. You know, last year, I think they got... 
affected overall by how bad the power play was. It was just an awful, it was a mystery because they had good personnel on the power play, but nobody could get anything done. And they just had no flow and they ended up right at the bottom of the league. And when your special teams aren't performing, I think it can impact the rest of the team. Not an issue this year. They clearly came to camp with a desire to work on that aspect of the game. It's been a lot better. And everything else is falling into place as, as well. It's Cal- it, Calgary, they're a decent team not playing to their level. But even if they were playing to their level right now, I wouldn't be stepping in front of this national train. Uh, the, the Predators are the yeah, only no, way. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, the Yossi contract steal for the Predators. I mean, as a guy sitting in... As a guy sitting in Toronto watching the whole Mitch Marner thing play out, uh, I'll take Yossi over Marner every day of the week. Uh, I just, like, these these top-notch defensemen are impossible to find. Uh, guys, I'm on a 19-7 and all-sports run, a 9-2 and football run. Uh, you can get the next seven days of my plays for only 79 bucks. Uh, head over to wagertalk.com. Use the promo code PREZ79. Uh, Dave, you went 2-0, and I think, in hockey yesterday, right? I did. I got on the right side of the Lightning, even though they played like absolute garbage, but they won the game. And uh, nice performance by the Panthers yeah. as a dog, and they won their game in overtime against Colorado. Florida played really yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, they're playing a handicapped uh, Colorado team, but they... Oh, I know, I know. And that yep. was part. That was part of the handicap. Is uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Colorado's missing Ranton and and uh, missing uh, one of the others. Landis Scott. Landis Scott. Plus, uh, Martin was also out. Who's uh, yep. you know, he's not one of their stars, but he's he, yep. he's a plus six on the season. So that's another good guy out of the lineup. And uh, I thought that uh, Grubauer has been tremendous for them, uh, and he played a great game last night. But in the end, uh, Alex, how are you doing in NHL this season? I went two and one last night. I got the ended up getting ahead of everything with the win with Vancouver. Uh, that was a great game played by them. Another big big win over LA. Uh, tons of points in that one for the, the top six forwards. And uh, you know, so getting ahead of things slowly but surely. Uh, ended up having a, a couple of bad beats with the first period overs. But I uh, actually cast the first period over with Florida and Colorado in that game. Colorado has been one of the best teams with that trend so far. Now 10-1 and one on the year. Uh, Montreal uh, going into Vegas. Vegas is a massive favorite, minus 210. There's a minus 225 at the CGI books. An over and under of six. And, you know, Montreal is playing really, really good hockey. Uh, they just beat Arizona 4-1. They beat Toronto 5-2. Uh, they've won four of their last six games. They're trending to the over uh, as well, and they're not having any trouble putting up goals. Uh, Vegas, 5-2 to win against Anaheim, and then they just got slaughtered uh, by Colorado 6-1 a few games ago. Um, I, I lean on the over in this game. I think there's going to be a lot of speed on the ice. Um, I think you know, with Montreal playing a back-to-back, they're going to be a little bit to tie, more, a little bit more tired, and that's going to affect the back checking a lot. I think there's going to be space for Vegas on the ice tonight, but I can't bet Vegas, Alex. I can't bet against Montreal right now if I have to lay minus two twenty. And I don't want to take this game in regulation either because there's really no reason this game couldn't go to overtime. I would lean on Montreal, but where I really am looking is at the over. Yeah, it's the only thing I would look at here too would be the over six or even uh, taking Vegas uh, with the team total three and a half uh, over minus $1.25, especially if Keith Kincaid's in that. The two starts that he's had so far have been absolutely brutal. Uh, He gave up five goals. Uh, against Buffalo and then gave up four goals yeah. here against Minnesota. And those were, uh, you know, some really soft goals that he let in there. So if Kincaid's getting this start tonight, I had, would lean even more with Vegas in the team total, but full game over. Uh, uh, like Dave, well. Dave, where are you yeah, at on this one? Well, I'm, I'm not going to play the game in all likelihood, but we'll throw a few things in. I think Kincaid yeah, probably like will that. get the start tonight because Price played last night. Uh, I want to check the lineup of Vegas, though, because they, you know, Schmidt and Tuck, have returned to practice. And when Schmidt gets back, and I don't know as of now if he's playing tonight, but that is a, both of those guys are big lifts. Uh, the, 
issues for the Golden Knights, even though you look at the games and say, well, they haven't been scoring all that much, the issues have been more along the blue line for them. Uh, and Schmidt is a real difference maker as far as that goes. And we saw what Tuck did in the playoffs last year. He was just dynamic uh, for that hockey team. So I would definitely be checking the lineup info as far as anything on Vegas is concerned. There's cer- certainly in a scheduling advantage. The place is going to be lit tonight, as it always is. And with Montreal coming off a good win last night, could be a little bit of a dead spot for the Canadians here. Uh, he's Dave Koken. You can find him at wagertalk.com. He's got a five-unit play up in college football for Saturday. Dave Koken is must-play in college football. Uh, our leading handicapper uh, in that sport over the last many years. 62% this season. These 5% plays are rare for him. Uh, you guys can get it for half price. Use the promo code DAVE20. And of course, I'm on a massive roll. I also have a 5% play up for Monday uh, in the uh, Monday night football game. And you can get a week of my plays for $20 off. Uh, head over to wagertalk.com. Use the promo code PREZ79. Alex, do me a favor, brother. Uh, you know, I, I don't spend a lot of time looking at what all the handicappers are doing. Um, it's just too many of you guys. Uh, if you're on a run and you want a promotion, uh, just email me before you come on the show. Uh, let me know how, what okay. you're doing, and I will put a promo together for you. And listeners, uh, before we leave, I must mention uh, what is going on over at Sports Memo. Andrew McGinnis has won 10 NBA games in a row. 10 NBA games in a row. To give you perspective... Uh, Dave Koken, the best college football handicapper in the world. When was the last time you won 10 college football plays in a row? I don't know. I, yeah. I have no idea. That's how good Alex uh, Andrew McGinnis is doing in NBA. He's also on a 19-3 and all-sports run. Uh, the guy is simply in the zone. So head over to Sports Memo and check him out because... These 10-0 runs don't come that often. We're in the middle of one now. I think our record offhand is a 16-0 run uh, that's happened in the last six years. Uh, I can't remember who laid that down, but uh, let's hope. Yeah, I think it was Carmine. I think it might might have been Carmine. Yeah, you're right. I think it was Carmine. Uh, Well, let's hope Andrew can break that record. So head over to sportsmemo.com and check out Andrew McGinnis, guys, such a pleasure uh, working with both of you. Uh, Listeners out there, let me say this. I defy you to find any website on the internet that has a better hockey team than Wager Talk and Sports Memo. Uh, I'm winning. Carm, Carm and Buster are all world in hockey. Alex and Andrew are ridiculous. Dave Koken keeps winning every year. Uh, Kevin Dolan is phenomenal at hockey. Um, We have the best hockey team ever assembled. And I'm going to give you a free bet. Uh, I like the New Zealand All Blacks on on Friday. That's tomorrow. They're minus 19 against Wales in the semifinals of the rugby game. I follow rugby. I love rugby. I watch rugby. I watch the entire World Cup. This New Zealand team is light years better than Wales. I think Wales is going to struggle to put up more than two tries. Uh, I think that New Zealand is going to lay the smack down. They should. I mean, Wales, uh, how do Wales carry the ball? They don't even have arms. (laughs) Later, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow with Andrew and Alex. Thanks, Dave. Be well, buddy.